Claudia, why are we bundled up like this? We're going fishing. Yes, we are on Lake Chickamauga at the Blythe's Ferry Boat Ramp, and we are set up today with a good friend of ours, Mr. Mark Cooper from Top Knox Fishing on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to his channel and check out. If you want to see some big fish caught year round, this is the guy to do it right here. Me and Mark have been friends for many years. He was uh, one of my groomsmen along with Darian and Jarrett uh, from Black Fox Matter and the Iceberg. But we're doing a little something different today. I love to go fishing and we're going to try to catch some NASCAR sized catfish today. <laughs> There's a ton of cranes out here. Oh, watch them go. Fly to the cranes. It's actually a fish on the bottom. Yeah. Little one. It's a another trick. Another stump, but there's a fish with it, I think. Yeah, there's definitely there's a couple fish in that stump. They look like a bunch of dots, though. I don't know if it was one fish or a bunch of fish. So guys, this is part of fishing right here. I know a lot of people on my channel might not be as familiar with this process, but you have to spend a lot of time on a depth finder, fish finder, whatever you want to call it, just literally idling and looking for what you're going for. Think of it like in a NASCAR race, if you don't practice, if you don't dial in your car, there's no sense of being out on the track if you don't know what you're really looking to get out of the car. Same thing here, there's no sense to be just fishing if you don't know if something's really there. One of the basic rule of fishing, if you guys are new to this or have been fishing, is deep water is the home of the fish. And deep water is the most stable water in the entire environment because shallow water, as you can tell, there's ice on the edge. It's, it's the most affected by changing water and weather conditions so fish like humans want something that's stable and well there's a bunch of cranes so basically right now we're finding what's called deep water structure which are drop-offs that hold the fish so they're out here in this main channel and then they become active or when they do they move up shallow and they use bottom features of the lake called bottom contours or structure to become active so like a, a point, uh, we've got an underwater island right here at the big drop off, that's, that's all structure. And now we're trying to find the spot on the spot, which is a tree, a rock pile, or something like that on the drop off, on the ledge leading out into the deep water. And when they become active, they'll move up on that and uh, hold. So that's what we're trying to do right now. I'm not necessarily looking for fish. People make that mistake driving around all day looking for fish. You wanna find good bottom structure that should hold fish and fish it. Because uh, so eventually right. something will come in there. Yeah. And your fish finder, no matter how good they are, is not really going to show everything. And I don't have a pan optics, but I've caught a lot of big fish here in the past. And we're checking up shallow right now to see if we can find some good bottom contours. And we're about to go a little deeper and see if anything's out there. The only time that truly looking for fish really comes into play is if you're bass fishing and it's like the summertime and they're really schooled yeah. up. You can it, find schools of them. For if you sure. find schools of them, then by all means, look at them all day and you'll catch a ton of them. But the school is going to be on good structure. Yes. It's not, they're dependent to each other. You can have a tree in two feet of water and there's not going to be any fish on it. But if you find one out in 30, 5, 40, there's probably going to be something on it. So guys, this is what we use for catfish bait. This is called a skipjack herring. Uh, really, the closest fish you can compare this to is what, the tarpon? Yeah. It's really close to a tarpon, just not no sharp teeth and obviously not as big in size, but they range anywhere from that size to this being one of the more bigger ones. Some primo bait. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good size one. You did good, Mark. Yeah, that's a nice one. We got us a whole cooler full. Hopefully we uh, get on some fish. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're just fishing some submerged timber on the side of this channel drop, and we're gonna be anchoring up with the rods out the back we've got ourselves double anchored and we are next to all the cranes so we're going to have some background noise while we're doing this hopefully they'll be cheering us on to catch some giant catfish so the type of rods we're using today are just a big cat fever rods different sizes there'll be a link in the description below but uh that's what we're using we got about uh four to uh, eight ounces of weight just depending on where they're at in our spread and we're just casting back behind the boat on that submerged structure back there and we'll just take it easy lob back, just not super far behind us. And we'll let her hit the bottom. We're in about 27, 28 feet of water. 
So it shouldn't take too long to get down there. Oh, right there. Yeah, there I can't get it out of there. I can't believe we get that, didn't get that take down. All right, keep that tight. I had my GoPro going at least. Really? Yeah. That's a good fish. We didn't have all our rods out, baby. This is Just the keep basic that one. rod bent. Oh, yeah. I haven't even got all the rods out yet. That's on oh, that he, big hole yeah. piece. He's got a, he's diving some too. That's might a good might fish, might, might even be a flathead. He slammed it, dude. Wow. You've got a big fish, Daniel. Yeah. A big one. I've got a NASCAR size catfish on, guys. A giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's coming right under us. All right, so uh, step down. Back here. Back in the bottom oh, of the boat. Oh, dude, dude, look at this. Oh, he's taking line. All right. I got to fight him for a second. We got to get him out of this anchor rope. Yeah. You got to get him that way. You got to step Kay. down the floor of the boat, Daniel. Okay. All right. We're going to work here for a little bit. Just hold on. He's going to take line. Yep. But we, I can't get him over this. I'm going underneath it. Okay. Reel down. Keep it tight. Okay, okay, now I got some freedom. Alright, now get him back up there. There you go, buddy. He's doing a lot of head shaking. Oh, he's coming weird. Oh, look, look at it. There it is. Big blue. Uh huh. Big blue. About a 20 pounder. That's a good one for sure. That's a mm -hmm. nice fish to start out with on that double bait. I guess they're eating bigger baits. Yeah. Alright, bring him over here. Reel down to him. Reel down to him. There we go. That's a nice first fish, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Oh. Heck yeah, baby. Woo! We on. All tangled up in my wire here. <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. All right, Claudia, you're up next. All right. Woo! We got a big one in like five minutes. Yeah. Literally was, five minutes. I know. Let's get him unhooked. Dude, look how he's barely hooked on the skin right there. Yeah. Well, we lost that bait. Fish, you know, yep. This is what we're talking about here, guys. This is this is a decent one, but it's still a small one. Uh, nice blue catfish out of the beautiful Chickamauga Lake here on the Tennessee River. And we're just getting started. We're gonna get a lot more of this today. He fought a lot harder than he looks. Yeah, we thought he was gonna be a 50 or a 60 the way he took it down and just started peeling line. But I'll take one like this start any day. We got one getting bit right behind you. That's a little guy. You want to go back in the water? Let's go back All right, let's release him. He'll swim right off as soon as you put him in there. Yep. Gone. Look at this one back here, getting dinked on. Claudia's gonna be up. Yeah, I'm just gonna set the hook for. Her. I don't think that's a big one. No, this is gonna be. Because that's a real light ride, and he would have slammed yeah, it. I was gonna say, even though. Could even be a channel cat. Yeah, or like a two-pound little blue cat. That one's on Claudia. Reel down on him, Danny. You got him. All right, Claudia, you're up. All right. <laughs> So put it in your gut, uh -huh. and put your left hand right here. Like, put it on your abdomen. There you go. Okay. Yep, and just reel it tight. Is he coming in? Okay. Pull up on him. There you Keep go. Nice and then and reel down. Yeah, it's a fun sizer. Okay. Yeah, just flip him on in here. All right. All right. If you'll step back. Yeah, flip him in. Okay. Yep. There, there you go. go. Good job, Claudia. <laughs> That's a decent channel cat. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Caught her channel cat. Now she's uh, oh, due for a big one. All right. Throw him back. Or her. Whatever it is. Do I just toss it? Or yeah. You just toss it. He'll go. Whoop. Okay. Go. We got our rods out finally. Okay. And we getting dinked on by two other fish. We just need a big slam of jamming like the last one. Come on. Come on. Now this one. Come on. I don't know. He, he's, he's still there. All right, we're hooked up. That's another good one. Daniel's got one on now. I gotta get my dang camera on. <laughs> That's another double bait, isn't it? Yep, this is another good one. It's gonna be about the same size as that, that first one. Yep. He didn't hit it as hard, though. He kind of hit it and came at you. Yeah. That's a decent fish. He's just sitting down there. I'm glad I caught like 30 skipjack. Yeah. Because we're going to go for every single one of them. Oh, look at this. This is this is bigger. 
That one is bigger, Daniel. Yeah. That one is bigger. Okay. All right. Come underneath this rock. That's how we do this. Real, real, real. Get that tight. And then drill down. Bring him to your right. Perfect. And we're gonna get to keep the bait. Actually, I'm gonna say he's about the same size as the first one. Keep, keep reeling. More line. There we go. All right. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Actually, he might be bigger. He feels a little fatter, heavier. He's fatter. he's fatter. Yeah. Similar in length, but he's fatter. About the same length, but he's definitely a fatter one. Oh, this is interesting. He has got a double whisker. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, is that the fish? Yeah. Yeah. He's burping. Yeah, this one's definitely bigger than the last one. Take a look at that fish, y'all. A toad. Hold him up. You got a breath? More like he was difficult to get unhooked. <laughs> He's a big and we're gonna get worn out today by these fish. I'd say first one was 15. This is definitely over 20. Yeah, he's probably 23 to 25. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Good fish. All right. Good fish. We let him grow, let him let him go, let him grow. I don't know. Words. We're releasing this big fat catfish. English, do you speak it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> in he goes. You're getting next one. Favorite snack man. Yep. No more snacks. Catfish are still snacking. We snack when they're done. Oh, he's about, he's about to take it down. He's hitting it hard. He's on that if Claudia wants to come in. Yeah, go get that one, Claudia. He's there. All right, go for it. See if you can hook him. Real, real quick. Real fast, real fast. Oh, yeah, he's, he's on. on. He's on there. Pull him out of that. He may be a swim up in that tree. Do you need help? Yeah, grab it from the top there. I don't know if I can reach it. <laughs> Okay, now get, turn the bait clicker off on the left. Wait, where? I got gotcha. you. Oh. Okay. Now just re keep reeling. Ooh, yeah. That's better than we thought it was. Yeah. It's bigger than the last one I had. Okay, step down here. Yeah, step to down. the bottom of the boat. Kind yep. of where I'm at. I'm okay. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get up here and do the rods for you. Okay. Okay, bring it, bring it this way. And keep reeling, keep reeling. Okay. Keep reeling until we can see him. You pulling some line back there? Keep your rod tip pointed up like that and keep reeling. Another double rig. Oh, look at him. There that's, he is. That's a decent blue. Decent blue. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, here's what we're going to do, Claudia. Be careful with it here. I'm going to take this rod and I'll bring it in right over here. There you go. Good teamwork there. Yep. There we go. That's a good one. Okay. Yep. Daniel's on that for us. Ooh, doggy. We hooked up. That one's uh, 18 pounds, probably. Maybe 17. That's not a bad one. There we go. Right. Actually, yeah. he's, a, he's that girth here than I thought he was. Yep. It's bigger than I thought it was, for sure. Yeah. Actually, you know, I didn't think it was that big. I think this is the biggest one today, to be honest. Yeah. It's definitely the longest. I don't remember the other ones being that long. His head is big too. Wildy booger. Fine, throw a fit. <laughs> you kind of hold him like a bass? Yeah, just like this. Okay. What you got there, Claudia? Big catfish. It's a long one. There's Claudia's toad. Are you taking a picture of you? I'm videoing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. The camera's around. Yep. You're ready to release it whenever you want. All right. And just drop them in there. So we got snow on the boat. They just swim right off. There we go. Whoop. That's All number right. four. Yeah, that was such a long one. I went for like this hour. <laughs> Look at your uh That's kind of nasty. If we get a 70 <laughs> or an 80 today, you're just going to be covered. <laughs> All right, we are hooked up with another one. This was on a smaller piece of bait, and I think he's pretty decent. He was kind of just messing with it. I don't know, it's hard to tell right now because all of them are just slamming it. He's getting kind of squirrely though, where they go like this. The big ones are just, womp, they stay down. 
He hits you hard though. Yeah, he's slamming. He's not bad. He's a ten pounder. Can you boat? Can you can you boat flip him? Uh, probably not boat flip. We may need to net him. Could be. Anchor rope. He's definitely the smallest blue of the day. Yeah. We're just gonna grab this hundred pound leader line and bring him in the boat. Well, he's twelve pounds. He grew up as soon as he jumped in. <laughs> That's a fat fish. Look at look at that belly on him. Ow! That hurt. Ouchie. This one's a tearing me up. This one's a tearing me. Look at that, guys. We are on the board with another fish. The wind is picking up opposite of the current, so our boat's getting drug all over the place. So we may make a move here in a little bit. We're having fun with these guys, 15 plus pounders. This guy is bigger than what I thought. He's bleeding out of the gill a little bit. Yeah. No, that's probably where I hooked him back in there. He may be on that. He's swimming at us, Danny. Yeah. Real, real quick. I'll, I'll tell you to stop reeling. Keep going. You gotta go. Real, 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 real. Keep going. 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 He on there? Huh. Dang. Oh well. Yeah, he came off. Weird. Turtle bite. Something. Okay. Let's. Let's get him. Get him. Get him. Get him out of there, get him out of there, get him out of there, get him out of there. You got him? Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. You feel good? Oh yeah. It's a good fish. Daniel is hooked up. We're getting battling the wind and stuff out here. This is on a double rig. Yeah, buddy, Daniel. Double rig's the key today. Yep. They're liking them whole baits. How's he feel there, buddy? Uh, he's getting smaller as we come up, but he's still feeling pretty good. He's got to be pretty decent. About the same as the other ones, probably. I caught a glimpse of him there for a second. Yeah, about the same size as the other ones. Yeah. Barely hooked on there. There he is. All righty. Way to a big one. Should just fall right on out. Not That's a good one. fish. The colors on that guy are really pretty. A lot of them have been darker. You know, they got that lighter belly, but a lot of them have got that darker head pattern. Yeah, he's day. got like this purple going down him. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. I see it on his gills there, pretty good too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let him grow. Toss him back there. Alrighty. Yeah, he put it down. Now he's on that one. That's a different fish. We getting dinked to death, y'all. Or we getting bites to death, which is good, I guess. <laughs> Got one going on that one. Got one going right here. Might all three to be fighting the fish here in a second. That would be cool. Oh. Is he dinking it or not? Yeah. Is he dinking it or not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Claudia is now hooked up with a good one. All right, Dan, I'm gonna come around you. Claudia, you're gonna walk up to your right, kind of where Daniel's at. Yep, keep that rod bent. The least touch rod all day, and then all of a sudden it just slammed. Oh, that's a big fish. Uh huh. That's a big fish, I think. Just keep it tight. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Good fish. I need to there we go. All right, don't don't lift it straight up and down. Yeah, like that. Your net's already kind of getting bent from where we did that earlier. That's okay though. Woo! Wow. Good. Oh baby. Yes sir. There's a thirty something. Yeah. Well, that was a fight. <laughs> Heck yeah. That slammed it. When it went down, I was like, ah. <laughs> Not expecting us for eating chips, and I was like, oh wait, no. Wham! <laughs> Biggin'.
All righty, y'all, look at this tub Claudia just caught. Is that your biggest fish you ever caught? I think so. I think this is a little bit bigger than our striper. It feels a lot heavier. Yeah. It's so girthy. And it, I, I can tell he's got a lot of uh, strength in his head. I can he's feel biting it. the crap out of you. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Easily the best of the day right here. Yep. Uh, We're just sitting here eating chips. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is number uh, seven on the day, I think. Yep. The sixth blue. We've had one channel cap, but easily the biggest of the day. That's a good and fish. Again, it was the least touched rod all day, and it's all of a sudden we're eating chips and bam! Big old head bait today. Clyde's gonna release her fish now. All right. Go back off that way, I guess. Good there fish. You go. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Awesome job. <laughs> okay. It's my daggum turn to catch a fish I now. Know, <laughs> So that's uh that's the bait we just caught that big one on, or what Claudia just caught it on, and now it's my turn. So I'm gonna throw another one out just like it. The wild Mark Cooper sits and watches his prey, hoping for a takedown. He awaits patiently. It's had to be too efficient and go real, real, real. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh, there it is. Oh, really? Yeah, no. I thought for sure that was it. Nope. Mark's got himself hooked up. Had another good takedown. Another big head bait. Large, that hand chunk we just threw out. That's, Claudia caught that big one. That same outer angle rod. Yeah, there's a big bar that runs out right there and it drops off the ledge here. And I think they're pushing up out of this hole, which is directly back behind the boat and getting active on top of that ledge. Mark Cooper is dealing with a that's obese good. catfish. Does he have the diabetes? He has some diabetes. Ooh, got some sharp teeth too. Jeez. I got it out. All right. Have enough. Let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, pro a fit. Gosh, he is fat as me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, that bit me to death. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, yep, I'm bleeding already. All right, easily the biggest one of the day right here. That's a big girl. Big old heifer. <laughs> they just keep getting bigger at this point. They do. Okay, ready to go. Goodbye. She gone. She gone, baby. Oh baby, that is a big one. Woo, doggy. You've been catching about this size or bigger. I don't know, that's a pretty big one. That belly's big on that guy, dude. This could be biggest of the day right here. We, we kind of, <laughs> it's hard to tell at this point. Yeah, that's a toad. No real 40s on this trip so far, but. That one's close. This is close, it's a solid one for sure. That one's close. He's got a beautiful dark color on them too. A heavy one, but that had all I can handle of them. All right, we're, what, we, which side are you gonna release them on? Go left, back where he come from. That's a good fish, Daniel. Uh -huh. He gone. Go get bigger than that. All righty. There's two over 30 in like 10 seconds apart. They were like back to back. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I got one now. Claudia's <laughs> got one. This fish I noticed isn't as girthy, but it is a long fish. It's yeah. long. That's Very a good. good. Oh yeah, it's a good one. He just took that rod on down too. Heck yeah. All right, time to go back. See you later. Heck yeah. Best way to celebrate a good day of fishing is a good meal with all your friends. Some good old Pizza Hut pan crust pizza. You just don't get no better than this. 
So, Claudia, what did you think of your catfishing experience today on Lake Chickamauga with Mark? Oh, it was really cool. I loved catching so many and, you know, huge ones with that. Yeah, now, would you uh, recommend people to subscribe to his channel so they can learn how to also catch catfish like that on a daily and weekly basis? Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, Mr. Mark Cooper over here, one of my best friends, known him longer than guys like Jarrett and Darian and Eric. Um, he's, known him, he's known him longer than you've known me. Yeah. Yeah. I've known him longer than my wife. So, uh, fun, fun, fun fact on that. But now he's in the YouTube game. And uh, if you want to learn how to catch big fish and learn how to eat while you're on camera, too. <laughs> Top notch fishing, baby. Hey, thanks for watching. And we hope you guys enjoyed this different but fun adventure. More adventures coming up. The LA Coliseum Bush Clash is coming up. That'll be the next vlog for me and Claudia. Until next time, take care, have a good one, and see you later. Bye, Bye guys. Hey race fans, thanks for watching this video from Danny B Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.